we're back at Clever TV, and tonight it is all about the Oscars. <laughs> hey everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Jocelyn Davis with Dana Ward. Hey you guys. And the red carpet has just wrapped up right here in Hollywood, actually. Yes, right down the street. Right down Believe the street. Believe it or not. Crazy traffic here in town, but it's the biggest night in Hollywood, and the fashion was definitely up to par. Our girls did a good job. Oh my goodness, it's the Oscars, the Academy Awards, movie stars, just dream of going on this red carpet, going to the awards show. And you can tell based on what they mm -hmm. wore head to toe, it's definitely all planned out. Top, top of the line designer gowns, jewels galore, hot shoes. Hot, exactly. <laughs> um, speaking of hot, Jennifer Lawrence, I have to say, looked like a winner already in her haute couture gown from mm -hmm. Dior. Um, recently it was announced that she's the new face of Miss Dior, so it's fitting that she would wear this gown. It's beautiful. It's like a dream. It's something you really only could wear to the Oscars or a very high-end wedding, perhaps. <laughs> but I If you're the one getting married. Right. Because um, of the light color. She looked like a doll, like a beautiful, fresh doll. Now the thing that I love about this look, I think most of the time when we see these really dramatic mm -hmm. silhouettes and really billowing skirts, they move a little bit. This one is really structured. It, it almost looks like this gown was created and built around her mm -hmm. body. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting and I love that there's a pattern, a really soft almost, it like appears to be a, a floral pattern or something mm -hmm. on there. It's like printed onto the fabric, which makes it a little bit more interesting and one of a kind or couture. Exactly, which is exactly the definition. <laughs> um, and I love that she went for, you know, the sleeveless look, which is what she's really been doing throughout all of award show season, from what I can remember right now, mm -hmm. at least. Now, something that you and I had a little debate about is this backwards we necklace did. that she's wearing. I think it's so cool. I really think it's fun and fresh and unexpected. I actually thought it was a part of her gown at first. I remember when we saw her first walk down the red carpet, we were discussing, oh, is it is it a mm -hmm. sheer overlay on the dress and that's just the top neckline area? But oh no, when she turned around, you could tell it was definitely a necklace that was hanging down, um, cascading down her back, which I think is a really unique look. It's interesting, but I think this dress could have done without it or something a little more statement oriented, although the dress is such a statement in and of itself. Yeah, those- but I thought it was kind of cool. The it's earrings are gorgeous. The earrings mm -hmm. are gorgeous. Chopard, oh, diamonds well are a girl's best friend. Always. Love, love, love. But moving on, um, another one of our faves, and I, I love that these two actually shared a moment. Kristen they did. Stewart was on the carpet. Wearing a new accessory, which I know Dana has gone in depth on. Yes, yes. So Kristen Stewart rocked the red carpet with crutches. I love this girl. Now, I want to point out this photo. I love the photo where Jennifer Lawrence first sees Kristen Stewart. She's, it's almost like, <laughs> hey girl, hey, what, <laughs> what happened? What the hey? What is going on? <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence is in the middle of an interview, and here she sees Kristen Stewart just kind of crutching exactly. her way over. But if you just looked at the red carpet photos, you would have never known that Kristen mm -hmm. was on crutches. Leave it to her. She posed like a pro. Exactly, leave it to her to look flawless on the carpet when she has an injury. Um, I also want to point out that the dresses are kind of similar, at least in color, although Kristen's mm -hmm. has this really great like lace overlay with tulle at the bottom in a really unique and fashion forward way, I would say. Mm -hmm. I don't really recall seeing anything like this this award show season. My favorite part about this Reem Acra dress is actually the hemline and the bottom part of the dress. Like you mm -hmm. said, it's kind of tulle and are mixed with lace and are mixed with fabric. There might be some beading in there. Um, it's just so one of a kind. I, Very it's modern. It's so cool. It's like so a modern take on a train for me, I feel like. It's different it than what we've been seeing. Also some great jewels. Oh yes. Of course, Fred Layton never goes wrong. Um, <laughs> I like the necklace a lot. What do you think about this hairstyle? Big hair was yeah. huge on the carpet at the Oh Oscars. my goodness, a lot of big hair. 80s inspired perhaps. Kelly Kapowski, <laughs> Saved by the Bell, but in a great way, of course. Yeah, I mean, I think she could have gone with like a really beautiful low bun or something. Mm -hmm. But still, like I love the messy yet styled look that she's going for here. It keeps it I just youthful. would have liked a bun or something. So between these two, who would you say is your pick? It's tough to choose. Oh my goodness. You know what? I think tonight the Oscars is about Jennifer Lawrence. Agreed. Agreed 100%. We can agree. It's her night. I think she looked great. 
obviously there were tons of other incredible <laughs> looks on the carpet. Oh, though. tons of other incredible looks. And of course, we have a whole photo gallery for you guys. So if you want to check out the other stars who walked the red carpet for this year's Academy Awards, just click the photo and it will take you right over there. And of course, keep it here at Clever TV for all of the details on the Oscars. We're going to have them all for you right here. Don't forget to subscribe. I am Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis, and we will see you guys next time.